Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to fit this in my ear so I can hear. We got Mornstar now. And I mean, honestly, I mean, I'll go back later to all the different. Um, oh, did I even equip Mornstar? Do I have to equip that? Because I want to go back later to um, get those purple chests that I wasn't able to open before. Magic wand. Mornstar. Wow, okay. Very few wizards have the aptitude and the attitude required to wield this legendary wand. Um, we're just going to equip it all willy nilly. I don't think we got anything else. Okay. Hopefully that makes us super, super more powerful. I have no MP anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Wait, how do I get back? At least we're so close. Oh, okay. Gas gone? Oh, he's not gonna come back. I'm sorry, everyone. But this is where I say goodbye. Oh, Swain must have knew this was coming. This is where he says goodbye? Just like this? It's time we went our separate ways. This kid is like 14 years old. Huh? What are you talking about? Aren't you coming back to Hamlin with us? No, I'm not going back. I've got my own journey to go on. Your own journey? You mean you're running away from home? Hey, look after yourself, all right? Here, you better take this. What's he giving? Father gave me that sword, but you're the one who should have it. It was a sword. It's the kind of sword that a sage should wield. A sage like you'll become, you'll be someday. Marcuson, hey, don't cry. You don't need to be scared. If you ever get in trouble, I'll come and help you. I promise. How? How will he know? Wherever you are, no matter how far away, I'll always be there for you if you need me. Oh no. Wherever I am? Yes, I promise you. But if I'm going to live up to this promise, I'm going to have to do some training of my own. Wow, where did it all go wrong, Swain? Where did it all go wrong? As Father keeps saying, I need to find my own role within the Empire. I need to find out what I'm good at. I won't let him down. I refuse to be a disappointment. Alright, but please come back soon. I'll be waiting for you. I'm guessing he never came back and he never got into training. I mean, based on his fighting ability. You do that, Marcuson. We'll meet again one day. You'll see. I wish you and your friends all the best as well, Oliver. I hope you make it back to your time. Thank you. I forgot what, I forgot what in the past. Thanks, Priscus Gone. Thanks, Pr Prince Gascon. I sure hope we meet again someday. <laughs> I don't think you have to call me Prince anymore. Well, goodbye. Where's he gonna go? Does he have money on him? Hey, wait! What is it? Are you really sure about this, Gascon? It's what I've decided. I'll, I'll be better off watching Marcus from afar. Watching him become a sage. How are you going to watch him? Where from where? I don't change my mind once I've made a decision. Stubborn. That's the Gascon way. The Gascon way? <laughs> well, it sounds like you're determined to be your own man. But I refuse to say goodbye. Let's just say, until next time. <laughs> Alright, until next time. In the future. In your time. See you then. Take care, Gascon. Gosh, that boy really is stubborn. Now come on, Oliver. Let's head back to our time. Sure thing. Uh, we should probably drop off Marcus in first. Gascon is no longer traveling with you. get this. Might as well get as many supplies as I can. I mean...
Okay, I guess we'll just go- well, what's my- I'll heal first. Just cause it's been a hot minute. You never know what we'll, what we'll be up against. I made a little coin. I gotta remember to go back to the Timson also to check out the casino. Alright, here we go. I mean, Marcus and hand handled Gascon just up and leaving like that pretty well, I have to say. For a little baby. But I guess, like, I wonder if defeating, or well, at least helping to defeat Candelabra Cadabra, you know, at the end there, I wonder if that helped him gain some confidence. Because I feel like his vibe changed after that. I mean, it helped him gain confidence and then he lost it. Because, you know, now he's kind of has some. He has some identity issues. I don't even know what to call them. Some insecurities to deal with. I forget the man. The prince's palace is deep out here. This Hamlin is huge. I need to get a bike or something. I'll take a trolley. Well, at least we don't have to sneak past anymore. For a second, I was like, oh, what? Better not make us do that. Oh my gosh, I'm going in a huge circle? Where is this place? What the heck? Okay. I want to like I want to know more about the prince and like how the, what the pig thing was how that came to be why he's so obsessed with them. Other than you know it's oh goodness oh the dad, oh, the emperor, your majesty. Oh then Swain wasn't here when his dad died, father or whatever I'm assuming he's dead because that's but why just a sad what happened? story. Sh Shadar. Shadar. Yes, he was here. He came to, to demand our unconditional surrender. Huh? But, but let it be known, I defied him. I would not bow to that wretch. No, don't. Don't try to speak. Gascon. Oh, he knows. Oh, my son. Oh, wait, does he know? My Oh, he knows! Son. Oh, huh? this is so sad. You really thought I couldn't tell? You knew? Your appearance may have changed, but I know my own flesh and blood. So why do you make us... What the future holds is a mystery to all men. But I know... I know that together... You and Marcus and Ken, I believe in you. Protect the Empire now and in the future. Wow, so, like, obviously in the past, Swin probably wasn't oh, there for this. No. This is sad. Father! Please! I'm Father. smiling, this is sad. <laughs> it's sad. I got to meet you again. And now this. I just wanted... I just wanted to make you proud. And now... This has to happen! Damn it! Swain. Where did you get the name Swain from? <laughs> wow! Let it out. Let it out. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Several days later? Okay. I wonder what's taking Swain so long. Esther, he's grieving. He just saw his dad die in the past. It's complicated. I just can't believe that he's Gascon. The heir to all of Hamlin. My mind's boggled beyond all belief, man. I guess he didn't want us to know, huh? G guess so. I suppose so. It won't be the same now we know that he's a prince. It'll be the same. Well, I'm gonna act like I don't know. That's ridiculous. 
I mean, it's one thing to act like it doesn't, like, it's no big deal, but to act like you don't know when we just saw that it was revealed to us. Me too. Unless Swain wants to talk about it, I'm not gonna say a word. That makes, see, that makes more sense to me. Mm hmm. Oh, you don't need to worry about me, man. I'll have forgotten all about this in a bit. Couldn't remember it if I wanted to, me. I wonder if he's gonna bring it up. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's forgetting. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> Swain! I suppose it's time to go, but I need to say goodbye to Markinson first. You need to take Markinson to therapy first. You need to help him. All right. It's today that you're leaving, isn't it? Yes, your highness. Thank you for everything. Oh, but that's right, it's Markinson of the past. Maybe though, maybe the events that we've done in the past are gonna change him in the future though. Like, but we still need belief. We need, we, that's the whole, I forgot, that's the whole, we need to get belief so he can believe in himself. The belief heart thing. Okay. No, I should be thanking you. Because of you, I was able to become my father's heir, and soon I'll formally inherit his title. Yeah, I bet the people of Hamlin are, are glad about that and all. Markinson also f was in the room when it was discussed that Swain is actually Gascon, so does he have nothing to say about that? Any reaction? I mean to give them a reason to be. I want them to know that they have nothing to fear from Shadar. I've refused to let him defeat us. I want Gascon to be able to come back to Hamlin whenever he likes, after all. Well, you were in the room! Gascon's here! I must make the Empire safe until he does so. You make a fine Emperor, Markinson. Gascon will be proud of you. He was literally in the room. I need to go rewind that because I saw his little face, his little body. I hope so. He always believed in me, and I shall never stop believing that he will come back. He's right here. Oh, oh, yeah, it's Swain. It's so, oh, look at your locket, Ollie boy. It's all aglow, man. You don't think? It must be. Marcus's belief in his brother must be real strong. Okay, it wasn't. That's not what I thought. I thought that Gascon believed in Marcuson so much that we were going to get it from Gascon in the past or whatever. But Marcuson believes in his brother so much that he'll come back. So we're taking his heart from his younger self? Okay. I think we did that with Esther too. I'm sorry, I... Your Highness, there's someone who needs your help. It's you. Someone who needs some of the strength that's in your heart. My heart? Whoever are you talking about? You. Well, you, your highness, I, in, in the future, I mean, in our time, a piece of your heart is missing. My future self? That's right, and we need you to share some of your belief with him to help him get back to normal. My belief? Very well, I can hardly refuse my own future self a piece of my heart. Alright then. I will gladly share my heart. Come, take it. Sweet, sweet boy. Okay, take heart. Super cool animation. We got belief for the first time, and it's, ooh, it's pretty. You obtained some belief. The noble uncertainty, the noble un ugh, uncertainty, the noble certainty of unshakable faith. Thank you very much, your highness. There is no need to thank me. Now, please give that belief to my future self. But before you go... Swain? That's the one. Yes. When you return to your time, please give my regards to my future brother. Um, what? That is your future brother. What? I'll be sure to do that, your highness. Righto. Back to the future it is. You know which spell you want, don't you, Ollie boy? Reach time, ain't it? Roger. Let's go, everybody. To the future. Where should we cast it? Like, just, oh, just, okay, just right here? Oh, I guess we're gonna be in the same room, right? I don't know. Okay. I'm kind of nervous. We can only use this once. Transports, transports the caster to a desired point in time. Can only be used once in a lifetime. Here we go. Like a morn star, my sailor moon wand. Oh, that's cool. Okay. We've never really seen him draw runes. Today, Today tomorrow, tomorrow, yesterday, yesterday send, send us safely, safely on, our on our way. And it's got <gasps> words that go along, an incantation with it. Is it working? Oliver.
Jennifer's gone. They've all gone. We'll, we'll be back. Will he remember us? He should remember us now, right? That's how the past the future time travel works, right? Did we make it? Huh? Aren't we still in the same place? Duh, Esther, this is where we were anyways. No way, Mun. That's impossible. No, because of what we did in the past, it changed the future. That's time travel rules. I know when a spell works, and that spell worked right and proper. We're back in our time, no doubt about it. Yeah, this place is different somehow. Less piggish? Well, there are pigs in the background. I don't know. Swain. We made it back. That's all that matters. Now, isn't there someone we should be helping? Oh, of course. Come on, Oliver. Let's find Marcuson. Sure thing. Let's go give him his belief back. Epic. Epic. Oh, he's got some very different clothes on. Super casual, I have to say. Yo, do you even need belief? What? I like your socks. Your little slippers. Marcus and you look different. Get out of here! Go! Be gone, I say! Poor lad, still heartbroken. That's for definite. A shadow of his former self he is. He needs a dose, he needs a dose of belief, and he needs it snappy. Come on, Mun. It's what his dad would have wanted. Seize your maddening chatter, fairy. My father died 15 years ago. Do not claim to know his will. Oh, this this was 15 years ago? How old was Marcus in then? He was like five? This can't be a 20-year-old. This cannot be a 20-year-old. I don't know how old Marcus was. He was a baby, though. So all that carry-on was 15 years ago, was it? And this poor lad's been on his own ever since. There's tragic. Wow, Swain didn't come back for 15 years. Uh, your highness, we brought you something. A gift. It's from 15 years ago. We got it from, well, we got it from you. Uh, anyway, if it's okay, we'd like you to have it back. What? Did you say? What is the meaning of this? Like, we're just gonna have to give this to you without your permission. Um. You don't seem like, I don't feel like he would say yes. He needs some belief. How was that 15 years ago? That just doesn't make any sense to me. What is this? This this glow? What's happening? What is this warmth that spreads within my breast? What I have ha I cannot read. What have I been doing? All this time I have been so misguided. And it's not your fault. You're a baby by yourself. Your older brother left you. I mean, like, who was raising you really? It was Shadar, your highness. He took the belief in your heart. But did he, though? Because realistically, this kid was all, all on his own. Like, with nobody to guide him. My heart? My belief? Wait, I feel... I believe in people once more. I want to believe in people. It has been so long since I felt this way. Yeah, because your brother left for 15 years. And he said he was going to come back. And he said he would always be watching you. And he never came back. So... I would, I mean, that's, having faith for 15 years with no, no, like, I mean, that's hard. Does this mean, does this mean that you saved me? Was it you who gave me back the capacity to believe? It was your younger self, you know, he healing that childhood trauma. It was your highness. I did promise, it was, wait, wait, I read that wrong. It was your highness. I did promise, didn't I? I guess, this is dumb, hold on. I promised I'd come and help you if you were in trouble. Wherever you were, no matter how far away, you took your time. So Swain must be like 30? Wherever I... I see. <laughs> now I see. You came back. I always knew that you would. Thank you. There's really no need to thank me, Your Highness. Your Highness, we need your help. We want you to help us to, to defeat Shadar. We probably should have waited a little bit before we just dropped this bomb. He needs to adjust to his new belief. Give it a day or two. What did you say? You mean to face Shadar? That is impossibly reckless. I am a great sage, and yet Shadar was able to enter my heart and take a piece of it with impunity. And yet I was saved, just as I was promised. 
Very well. Uh, okay, what a quick change of heart. Um, I shall assist you. Together we will defeat the Dark Jinn. Shadara's days are numbered. They sure are. Thank you so much, Your Highness. I knew you wouldn't let us down. <laughs> and that is why you're the Emperor, Markison. Uh, what a weird... That, I didn't really like that dialogue exchange. It's a little weird. Oh. Well, well. What are we to make of this? It seems the savior managed to acquire Mornstar after all. And somehow managed to travel back to the present. I would have thought that far Ooh, beyond him. We were, we were one of these guys. Indeed. The power to breach time can be used but once in a mortal's life. I can't remember which one was the one that helped us. It would seem that he has benefited from yet more assistance. And that his benefactor possesses formidable powers. Powers on a par with our own. This supposed helper of his is no mere dabbler in the magical arts. Such powers recall those of that ancient king without whom our magic ones could not exist. Yes, I speak of my... But that would be a truly terrifying proposition, if one such as he were to... Fear not. Should the need arise, I shall take action myself. Was that her dad or Your something? Agents, you mean to say... <laughs> I do. He cannot hope to defeat me. And I will tell you why. Is it my mom? That's his mom. I don't know. These games, they keep pulling the wool over my eyes. I think that's Oliver's mom. I don't know. All right, everyone. Listen. In order to defeat Shadar, we must first break down his defenses. Now, the Dark Jinn is protected by a magical barrier known as the Black Briar. I mean, Shadar's just one. There's like five people in that room. There's like seven, ten. I don't know. The Black Briar? And they all seem to be against me. Yes. It is a cloying magical barrier which no spell can permeate. Neither Rashad nor Alicia were able to overcome the Black Briar. That is why Shadar was able to defeat them. And with the other great sages incapacitated, he was able to delve deep into my own heart and seal a piece of it. But now, but now, Marcuson, oops, I mean, your majesty. Come along now, Esther. I once fought alongside you as a child. Okay, so he remembers. There's no need for you to use my royal title. The same goes for all of you. Uh, I'm so confused. Sure, your majesty. Um, don't worry, Oliver. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Now, I would dearly love to accompany you on another journey, one where we grow strong together, strong enough to defeat Shadar. Join our party, man, so it can be even more chaotic. But protecting the Empire has to be my first priority. There is also the small matter of rectifying the many mistakes I have made whilst brokenhearted. He made a bunch. I comfort myself with the knowledge that you now possess a wand that should enable you to defeat Shadar without my aid, Oliver. Mornstar once belonged to the Wizard King. It is said to have the power to overcome any enchantment. That must surely include the Black Briar that protects Shadar. This game is really interesting because, like, you don't really get a lot of equips. And we only had three wands, and, like, the third one we got is, like, apparently the strongest one. So that's really interesting. Unfortunately, however, the wand you have in your possession is not complete. Oh, what does it need, jewels? Uh, not complete? What are you on about? Mornstar's true power is beyond most wizards' comprehension. It is so powerful indeed that the ancient king who created it decided that its power should be divided between three magical stones. I knew it! It's Thanos rules. These three stones were then sealed away, far from the wand itself. So, we need to go find them, right? Yes, but I have an apology to make in that regard. Did you eat one of the stones? Huh? Why? What have you done? A map detailing the location of the three stones was once in my possession. Sorry, I thought I heard something. I am afraid, however, that it has been stolen. Stolen? Wow. While I was brokenhearted, I must confess that I became rather neglectful of the palace's treasures. Books and maps would often disappear. Gosh, Marcuson. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna blame Marcuson at all. None of this is his fault. It's his 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 dad. He died. I mean, okay, that's not his dad's fault, but I'm gonna blame Swain. To my shame, I actually observed several such thefts and did nothing. Depression will get you every time. That sounds about right. I found it hard to care about anything much when I was brokenhearted. Oh, that's right. He was brokenhearted too with, um, not fatigue, but I forgot what it was. Restraint? Well, this is a bit flippin' rum. 
If the thief who pinched the map used to get hold of the stones, uses it to get hold of the stones, what do you think he's going to do with them? I don't know. What can he do with them without the wand? I do not know. What I do know, however, is the identity of the thief. His name is Kublai. Kublai. He styles himself as... His, he styles himself king of the Sky Pirates. Okay. Kublai? Kublai? Of all the people to tangle with. Of course Wayne knows him. <laughs> I should have known you two would be thick as them. Anyway, I don't suppose you know where he is, do you? That's the thing with the Sky Pirates. You never know where they are. They're always moving from hideout to hideout on these giant airships. Be that as it may, locating Kublai is still the easiest way for you to recover the three magical stones. He's very unlikely to corroborate peacefully, however. I had better teach you some new spells, Oliver. Oh, okay. Man, we have so many spells. Okay, got just ward. Fuse. Insight. I gotta make another re reading the wizard's companion playthrough, uh, blah, 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 video. We got a bunch of new spells. You will almost certainly be doing a lot of traveling on your search for Kublai. Therefore, let me grant you one last spell. Oh, travel? Can we just... Oh my gosh, is this like fast travel? What does it do, your uh, Marcuson? It instantly transports you to any location you have already visited. While I am unable to accompany you on your travels, I can at least make them pass more comfortably. That's great! And it means we can come and see you anytime we like, Marcuson. Huh. Indeed. Be sure to use it to return to some of the other places you have visited on your journey and find out what has changed. I'm super excited to do that. If you visit the Temple of Trials, for example, you will now be able to take part in the Solosium series. Solosium series. Organized by my old teacher, Solomon. Oh, I didn't like that first trial. Oh, wow. I almost completely forgot about Solomon and the Temple of Trials. Our first priority, though, is to find Kublai, King of the Sky Pirates. Come on, Oliver. The next chapter of our adventure starts here. It sure does. Let's go. I feel like we have so much to do in this game. Oh, there's there's a... I can fast travel out of the town. The Sky Pirate Kublai stole the map with the locations of the magic stones marked upon it. I think that finding him may be the only course available to you. Needless to say, I will do all of my power to assist you in this. Wow, I mean, the sky is the limit now. We have freedom. Alright. How are we going to stop here? Uh, I'm going to save it. And then later on I'm going to come back and play uh, Unravel. Oh wow, there's teleportation things everywhere now. Well, it's not everywhere, but you know. Um, I, there's a bunch of quests I need to do too. What does this go to? Oh, travel to the entrance. Of, oh wow, so we don't have to run through the whole city now? That's kind of convenient. Okay, wait. Somebody... I know that's not Derwin who needs to wait. Who, who needs a quest over here? Oi, you in the cape? Just where in the world do, do you come from? Oh, they have their mask off! I, I want to go back and talk to everybody, too. M me, sir? Where do I come from? Um, well, you see, the thing is... Can't give me a straight answer, eh? I've got it. You're a spy, aren't you? Huh? A spy? No, sir, that's not it at all. That's quite enough of your back chat. I know a spy when I smell one. Hold on. You're another one, aren't you? I've uncovered a whole spy ring. Who's this man? You're accusing the Lord High Lord of the Fairies of being a spy? A lovable character like me? Enough of your chatter. You're not from Hamlin. Therefore, you are a spy. End of bleeding story. Oh, either this guard's brokenhearted, or I'm a flippin' spy. This suspicious so-and-so's lost his belief in people, ain't it? If we don't do something, we'll be in for a proper pickle. Yes, a Hamlin piggy paranoia. A Hamlin guard has become suspicious of everyone he sees, and refuses to let anyone in or out of the town. What? Restore the guard's belief and stop him from being so suspicious. He can't stop us from leaving. Jeepers, what if he stops letting people through the gate? We have to find him some belief. He can't stop us. Oh, we're supposed to go that way anyways. Um, Gosh, oh, everybody has... I can see their faces again. I love this variation of pig, pig feet, no mask now though. Uh, good day to you all. Ever since the law forcing us to wear armor was repealed, lives looked a whole lot better. I wonder what could have happened to our prince. He got therapy. Um, oh, I gotta talk to everybody. Uh, 
This is a magic circle that allows one to travel instantaneously to the main street. Should you ever wish to visit the palace, you will find it most useful. Yes, most useful, but now I have to talk to everyone. So, it's only partially useful. How's Derwin doing? He's still here, I'm surprised. My research continues to push the bad on Alright. So I'm just gonna talk to everyone real quick, and then... I'll call it a day. Someone told me that the roof covering our city is not just to keep the rain off, but they didn't tell me what else it was protecting us from. Your guess is as good as mine. Probably like bombs or something. Since the national dress code was abolished, the city's craftsmen here have been coming up with all kinds of jewelry and accessories. In the bad old days, they would carve decoration designs inside people's helmets. Looking back, I suppose the law forced them to be creative. Oh yeah, I remember those days. He needs belief, okay. There's still a bunch of people here who need my help. Oh, let me go to the blacksmith, the blacksmith, uh, black market. I haven't been able to buy anything from him. You're wondering why I'm letting you through? Well, that fellow you're with shared some- Oh yeah, we already- we already talked about that. That's not new. I think it's time my poor mother took off that heavy armor. Mother, come on now. This is so interesting. The thing is, wearing this armor gives me lots of nice nooks and crannies to conceal things in. The granny's got the right idea. Snacks and things? This is the guy whose sister we helped. He got, he got something else for us to do? The pirates are playing in the sea- Oh, that's right! I think this is part of the quest. Reports say there are a total of four ships in their fleet. Please be careful, won't you? Oh, I gotta fight sea pirates and sky pirates. Oh, he's got a customer. Oh, there's just a- Oh, oh this is the first treasure chest we could do with Mordzar. What? Oh, this is so annoying. Mornstar is not yet powerful enough to open this chest. Are you kidding? Because we don't have the stones? It's stupid. What is it powerful enough for? What's up, man? Uh, there's nothing quite like an honest day's work. Except for an honest afternoon nap. And I'm feeling rather... <laughs> You're gonna sleep standing up? <laughs> Oi, wake up, you idle lump. I pay you to work. Come on, chop chop. I'm sorry, governor. What's gotten to you lately? Sleeping on the job? But I ask you. Uh, so gonna... What's gotten into you lately? S sleeping on the job? I ask you. I don't know how to read that. Any more of that nonsense, and you'll be for the high jump. Right, governor. I'll roll up my sleeves and work hard. I promise. Hey, wake up, mister. Your boss will fire you if you don't. Oi, you. Do you want this job or not? Y yes, I love my work. It's just that when I get sleepy, I can't. I can't resist. I can't resist. <laughs> He has narcolepsy. This is a serious disorder. I've got it. What Sleeping Beauty's missing is some good old-fashioned restraint. I think. Do I have some? If he keeps hitting the sack, he'll end up getting the sack. So what's... <laughs> if he keeps getting the sack, he'll end up getting the sack. So what's the plan, Ollie boy? Give him some restraint. Asleep on the job. A Hamlin shop worker is having trouble staying awake while working and is in danger of losing his job. Restore his restraint to stop him from sleep falling asleep. I'm pretty sure we have restraint. We can't let him lose his job. We have to help him. There's no time to lose it, Mun. Let's restore his restraint and fast. Don't I have some? Because uh, I remember there's a lot of people here who have restraint I need to take, but I wasn't able to. Because I had I had to get rid of it first. Because you can only have one of each, which is ridiculous. But them's the rules. There you go, man. Huh? Oh, what was I doing? This is a place of work, not a hotel. So you're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at last. I was worried you'd snore me out of business. There'll be no more of this napping nonsense. I'm ready to pull my socks up, roll up my sleeves, and get to work. I owe you gentlemen my thanks. This isn't much, but I want you to have it. Ooh, drowsy drops gem and 500 guilders. Thank you. Happy to help. I wonder when we're gonna get new merit stamp things. Right, there's work to be done. Powdered oak horn. Oh yeah, he's he doesn't say anything else. All right. Well, I cannot believe that I still can't get that treasure chest. Absolutely ridiculous. But this is an RPG game, 
so. But I mean, I thought like at the bare minimum I could open those chests, but I, like I hope I'm not gonna need all three stones just to be able to open those purple chests. I'm excited. There's so much to do in this game, and it's all so fulfilling. All right, who else needs to be talked to? Sir, oh, is this the one who had too much restraint? I am starving, but I am at a critical juncture in my work. I shall control- yeah, he has too much restraint. I shall blah blah blah. Alright, you got- let me get some of that restraint off of you, my man. Thank you. Oh, I say. I've never felt so hungry in my life. My stomach thinks my throat's been cut. Why would we do this to this man? Without some nourishment, I will surely collapse. And what good would that do my research? I do declare it is time to dine. Oh, I guess he was not eating. He was just working. Oh, he's like me. No, you gotta stop to eat. You gotta stop to eat. I'm not that like that anymore, though. I'm, I've learned my lessons. I eat now. Um, instead of working all day. I think that's for the best, sir. I sure hope you enjoy your meal. Uh, I thank you. I've learned a valuable lesson today. Too much restraint can be bad for one's health. It's true. It's true. Good job, me. Okay. Talk to her already. She's just walking back and forth. Be patient, I told you. It's tough for your old grandmother, too. The soles of my feet are itchy. What can I do about it? Lady, what? Grandma, my back's all itchy and horrible. <laughs> Y'all, I think you can take out those suits now. Well, guess one step at a time. It'll take time, I suppose. Did I talk to you, my man? I've seen a fair few places, but nowhere that was half as developed as Hamlin. It's pretty developed. Hey, you in the corner here. You got some heart? Developing new technology is far from easy, but it's deeply rewarding. Gee, it sure sounds like you love what you do. What are you working on right now? Well, might you ask? I'm afraid I cannot work at present. What's wrong? Huh? Why not? It's my chief engineer. He came into the laboratory the other day and told us that he had decided to abandon his research for good. But what would make him do something like that? I have not the faintest idea, but I am sure it will all work out in the end. He's very optimistic. He was always a man of vision, and that can't change overnight. Someday he will dust off his lab coat and return to his research. Gee, Mr. Drippy, he sure does have a lot of belief in his boss. That's cute. You are right. You're spot on there, Ollie boy. You could do us a bit of a favor, could you? A favor, you say? Well, I don't see why not. Tell me, what can I do for you? Well, I'd like you to share your belief with others. Don't worry. It's not as weird as, as it sounds. Just hold still for a moment. I think this is sped up about 5%, 2% the dialogue to get people's hearts. I got, so guys, I got restraint. I got belief and I got whatever that is oh I feel rather peculiar thank you very much I hope you get back to work soon I have no doubt I shall be back to work before long that's cool that he still has belief though like that's the thing like that's good look at this congregation there used to be so much small print on official forms at Hamlin that I needed a magnifying glass to read them The other day, I went to Ministry to ask about opening a new shop. Turns out all I needed to do was fill in a few forms. Simple as that. How times change. They say there's a whole host of new shops opening soon. It's sure to make for a livelier atmosphere. More shops, huh? But now that we don't have to wear armor, I can leap nimbly out of the way with seconds to spare. Now that's efficient. I mean, people. some people are still- oh, I, uh, let's try to try Some people are still wearing armor. Salted ice cream. So it seems we'll have fewer rules and regulations to memorize. What a relief. I'd start muddling them up. One morning, I'd, I'd started muddling them up. One morning, I couldn't remember whether I was meant to be putting on my gloves or my helmet first. That's a rule? Ah, uh, things are really changing. We no longer have to spend half the day trying to memorize all the new rules and regulations. Uh, I feel so light. I'm gonna go for a nice long walk without any clanking or squeaking. Hey, I, I, we haven't seen any dogs here before. 
It's cool that we have new quests and hearts to take now that we have a belief. I found myself in my wife's bad books, I'm afraid. She lost her temper and threw me out of the house. I haven't played. I'm gonna play uh, this week, though. I should be playing this week. Because I'm playing four games, so I try to balance them all. I, like, play them, like, one at a time, basically. Like that. So I don't get addicted to any one game. But... Sorry, it's super warm in my room. Jeepers, that's no good. What made her lose her temper? Well, for years, we always we have always celebrated our wedding anniversary together. Just the two of us. That's how it usually is. But this year, I had to work, and she didn't like that one little bit. So here I am, out on the street. Oh, she kicked him out! That's pretty rough. I mean, he had to work. That's like a legitimate reason. Travel in paradise, seems like. Oh, it's nothing serious. It will all blow over. She's a bit sad about spending our anniversary apart, but I don't think she's really angry. She's a wonderful wife, even if she sometimes has trouble expressing her feelings. She didn't express... had trouble kicking you out. She's not... I can't even talk. Look, the locket is glowing. Crikey, I think we found ourselves a heart full to the brim of belief. I think I have too much belief to take more. Sorry to trouble you, mister, but I was wondering if we could ask you a favor. I thought we had... Oh, maybe we do need it? A favor, you say? Certainly. Why not? Now that I'm out on the street, I have precious little else to do. Thank you very much, mister. Hang about, Ollie boy. Yeah, we already have too much belief. You can't hug it all, la la la. Did I talk to you? In his wisdom, the prince has created a magic circle here, which allows one to. Yeah, yes. Yes. We know about the magic circles. We may share the same continent, but there's no contact between Hamlet and Perdita. It's such a shame. We haven't been to Perdita yet. The tombstone trail serves as a line that divides the continent of Autumnia in two. Oh, it's such a steep path that only the boldest or most foolhardy souls would even set foot on it. We were this, we were just there, and it was a great old time. Oh, we still have to help this person with their plant grow. I have to get a creature that looks like the sun. I know where it is. It's in the desert, somewhere. Being stuck in a sweaty suit of armor at least stops you from, from, stops you putting on weight. Oh, it doesn't. Tell me, dear, did you remember to switch off the light in the living room? Did you, dear? Don't worry, I made sure I turned on- I turned all the lights out before I left the house. She's my number one student. She has ideas that I could never hope to come up with. Who? Oh, no, oh, no, Pika! Please, come and go as you please, at your own convenience. My streams are so random, and they're short anyway, so... I'm always grateful for anyone who's able to stop by, you know, it's, it's nice to see a friendly face or two. I, I just I just recently became semi-consistent. I'm trying to just stream three days a week, any time, any day, just three days at least. Hey, the soldiers aren't wearing the helmets anymore. I wonder if I could have their old ones. What do you want with them? What? Master, I brought you back a bunch of rabbits and jackrabbits. We seem to get along famously. I'm thinking of taking them on as my apprentices. Got yourself some familiars, lady? Oh, he's got a quest? Yeah, needs? Confound it. I'm coming to the end of my tether. What's the matter, sir? You don't look too happy. I devote my every waking hour to inventing new machines, to doing my bit to hasten the majestic march of progress. I know there are limits to what one man can achieve, but I simply cannot trust my feckless assistance. You can't do it all on your own, sir. You need other people to help you. Or maybe he has to believe in his assistance? If only I could afford that luxury. If I were to leave my assistants to their own devices, they would steal my data and sell it to the highest bidder. Gee, I feel kind of sorry for those assistants of his. If only I could convince him to give them a chance. Save your breath, Ollie boy. This fellow here is brokenhearted, and it's his belief that's in short supply. Oh, I got a bunch of free games off of Amazon Prime. If you have Prime, you can get free games right now. I got, um, what did I get? I got games I never heard of. I got Middle Earth, Shadows of Mordor, Mordor. I got that. And then off of something else, I got Mafia was free. And I got, uh, there's another big game that I got. I got, oh, Shadows of the Tomb Raider? Games I've never played, but it is so hot, and for what? And for why? But yeah, so it, yeah, if you, um, if you want some free games, I would check that out. I just, I just hoard games. 
I'm gonna play him eventually. Eventually. One hour at a time. This guy, um, what does he need? He needs belief. If you don't help him out, he'll go on trading his poor assistants like dirt and scupper his research into the bargain. Maybe this, the, the, I don't know. Okay. Come on, Mr. Drippy. Let's help him get his research back on track. That's good of you. Now we just need to find ourselves a bit of belief. I have a bunch of belief. All right. I'm going to cast Give Heart and give this man his belief back. Belief. Yes. And then we have to go. There's a guy upstairs who has too much of it. I forget who. I already forgot. Hmm. I must have been daydreaming. How could I? How could I? When there is research to be done, I can't leave it all to my faithful assistants. Well, sir, it looks like you've got your belief back. My memory is rather hazy, but I feel certain that you have done something important for me. It literally just happened, and you forgot? I must show my gratitude. If you would do me the honor of accepting this small token. Oh, three soft scoop ice creams? I would love one. 500 guilders? I would love some ice cream. Uh, oh, but leave my house again? I already went outside. Ice cream? Oh my gosh. Oh, I got another as a bonus? Very nice. Good of me. Okay. I can't talk to those guys up there. I'm almost done talking to everyone. Um, oh, hey, what do you got? Everybody here has heart to take. It's so good to be free of the tyranny of armor. You can wear whatever we fancy. We can, hmm. I'm thinking, swimsuit? That's a good look, right? It looks like it's cold in Hamlin. But you can do whatever you want. Oh, is it not you? It's you! There are times when I would love to join in with the cheering crowds, but I must restrain myself. Oh, I don't have room for that. It's my job to keep everyone safe, after all. Now that's what I call self-control. Got restraint coming out of his ears, this one. Um, excuse me, sir. Would you, I, did, I think he already... We don't, uh, you mean to tell me that my self-discipline could help someone to control their unruly urges? Well, in that case, be my guest. I think we don't have room. Yeah, okay. Lisa, man, I need at least if I ever need her, I'll just come to Hamlin. Thirty guilders. Cause everybody here has uh, so much love to give, so much of everything. The secrets of Hamlin's mechanical wizardry have been lo have long been passed faithfully from one generation to the next. So I've heard they're going to be reorganizing one of the city's residential areas to make room for some new buildings. Perhaps you don't need to go back to Ding Dong Dale after all. Would you consider settling down here? I'm just eavesdropping on this conversation. I'm so glad I came to Hamlin. I've seen at first hand the way things are made here. I suppose I should get back to get be a I should blah, blah, blah. Huh. I suppose I should be getting back to Ding Dong Dell, but I'd like to stay a little longer. I dare say the prince will reveal his face at the next royal procession. Oh, I can hardly wait. Oh, he's gonna be a hit. You guys haven't seen Marcuson, little baby Marcuson. He's apparently 20 because it's been 15 years. Since his dad died, and that's crazy. Um, who else have I not talked to? Have I talked to you? Now then, I must find myself some gainful employment. Good job, okay. So my wife and I looked better with the helm- Oh wait, so my wife said I looked better with my helmet on. I'm not sure what to make of that. I would take that as an insult. Oh, I can't get over how dashing my man looks without his pig armor on. Wait, without it? Wait, did she say you look better with it on? She said, so my wife said I looked better with my helmet on. And she said, I can't get over how dashing my man looks without his pig armor on. Is this, is that, is that your wife? Because you, those are opposite statements. Excuse me. Oh, she can't talk to me. Is this man chilling? The stars are in alignment. I shall win her hand by nightfall. Good luck with that. Did you like Hamlin's array of armor? I had a soft spot for it, I must confess. The laws changed, but I'm still wearing mine to work. Yeah, do do whatever you feels good for you. I still wear a mask sometimes. Uh, I got my grandfather's armor professionally polished, but now he doesn't need it anymore. So I thought I might as well wear it myself. Uh, not having to wear that bulky armor has really helped relieve my constant backache. Oh, that's no good. If you know, wear comfortable clothes if you're able. Alright, um, oh, I should talk to them. 
So like these guards kind of have the, like it's like a mixture. This is very interesting game. Very detailed. Do not fear. We will do all in our power to protect Hamlin. It is our sworn duty to protect town. Okay. Well, I think that's everyone in town. We did actually a few little mini quests here. While we were here, there's still more to be done, of course. There's somebody here who I need to get belief from, pretty sure. Uh, let me just check my heart locket. Yeah. There's... Because I have room for that now. I just want to go find him real quick. Before I get out of here. Thank you all for stopping by. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't stream longer, but I will be back. I really determined to be back tonight, actually, to try and play Unravel. I really hope that... Oh, this is the guy who believes in his wife so much. I really hope that it it is smooth and doesn't. it's not ugly laggy. This is, this is frustrating. Alright, let's get this belief. Excuse me. Uh, take heart. Got some belief? I say, are you some sort of wizard? Some sort of. Well, whether you are or not, you made my heart feel light as a feather. So happy I could help you with that. What was that other guy? What did that cranky guy need? Who. He needs belief, right? The guy who's at the front of the place and he's like. The one who doesn't trust anyone? I think, I think he needs belief too. We might be able to help him. Where's he at? This guy. Yeah, he needs belief. I got you. Wow, we helped so many people today. Who knew? He never even saw it coming. He's not even paying attention to me. Hmm? Uh, uh, I say, what in the world have I been doing? Hmm. Nito, looks like you're back to normal. I'm sorry I doubted your intentions. I don't know what came over me. By way of apology, I'd like to give you this. Three slices of game pie? Interesting. 500 guilders. Everything seems to be in order, just the way I like it. I'm so happy for you that you have found peace where there wasn't any before. 